Hello everyone. Real quick, I want to quickly show you how uh, you can download Python uh, software uh, into your local computer for your um, training and also for your personal use there. Uh, one of the questions I have is people asking me um, where can we get the Python or how can I download the Python? How do I know which one fits my computer, right? So that's a very good question. Uh, we you don't need to download any separate Python package. Uh, all you need to get is the Anaconda Navigator. So um, you need an Anaconda Navigator. When you download the Anaconda Navigator, it comes with the Anaconda prompt, which is the command line CMD command prompt. We also have the Anaconda PowerShell. Um, so you don't download them separate, right? You just download the anaconda navigator and then you can have the anaconda prompt and the anaconda um, powershell so what's the difference right um the anaconda prompt is used basically to execute a batch command and to do some primary troubleshooting right you want to troubleshoot you want to alternate between um what do you call it um uh, packages right uh you want to do that so uh you can use anaconda prompt Anaconda PowerShell is more executive, right? It's more like industry administrative purposes for running um, batch command, right? And um, we don't usually, I think lately it was introduced, uh, we used to have just Anaconda prompt, but you don't need to worry about the Anaconda PowerShell. Everything you can do with Anaconda prompt, you can also do with the PowerShell. Uh, but Anaconda prompt is more basic and, you know, uh, we, we still use it. So I will show you why we use it. Uh, we use it to download libraries, right? Like, you know, we need to get some libraries that can reach tables and also they can download some uh, packages that we can use to run models, right? Those predictive models I talked about. So we need this uh, command prompt to also alternate between, um, what do you call it, um, between um, environments. So in the time there is environment. So we are going to create different environments. We have environment to do for your personal use. Even when you get a job for any tech company or any business or for your personal research, you create a, a different, a unique environment for that work. In that environment, you can then install different packages. Those packages can help you maybe to read raster images, right, to, to analyze tables or to do any other uh, work there. So I will show you how to do that as we progress. Um, so let's head on quick. The, I already have Anaconda Navi Navigator uh, installed. Uh, what I did first, I, I usually, this is, a, this is a brand new computer, right? So I have not used it. It just got it brand new because of this purpose I want to use to teach. And um, so I'm, everything I'm going to be doing here, I'm going to pretend like I don't have a computer from the beginning. So I'm going to use this to teach. I'm going to install all the software and I'll show you how everything is done. Right, so we can work, uh, you can follow that same pace. So, I usually create a folder, and in that folder, I kind of try to install some of my uh, softwares I want to be using. So, for this training on Python, you're going to need an Anaconda Navigator, you're also going to need the Visual Studio Code. So, um, I will show you the how the Visual Studio Code looks like uh, as we make progress. So, sometimes we are going to use Visual Studio Code to code. So, here we can we have the capability to debug. And I will tell you why it's different, right? Everything you can do with the Anaconda Navigator, some, most of them you can also use Visual Studio Code. So the Visual Studio Code is more uh, a, more like an interpreter, right? It's basically for, for interpreting. But Anaconda, Anaconda prompt, Anaconda is wide. In Anaconda, you have the Python inside there, right? So it comes with an inbuilt Python. So you don't need to worry about downloading Python. It has a Python that comes with it. And then you also have the Jupyter Notebook, which you can use to interact with the Python uh, libraries. And then you have other um, other um, software in there. Sometimes you have R, and I'll show you what those uh, uh, different applications that are inside Anaconda. So it's more like a, a hub, a model house, that kind of houses both the Python, the Jupyter Notebooks, and, and some other package, uh, other uh, software. So you're going to see them. But the Visual Studio Code is just basically used to, to interpret your scripts, right? To run your script and to compile your script and give you results. And I will show you the benefit and, and uh, what makes them unique. So let's head on and try to see if we can download the... Um, uh, okay. 
the anaconda so you just go to anaconda.org so we have anaconda uh, anaconda if you search anaconda um, you may see uh, yeah this one so anaconda.org make sure this is the one you are seeing right so you download the anaconda you go to anaconda.org I think that's uh, is better I just show you here anaconda.org um, it's going to take you there right away and then at the top you're going to see download anaconda right if I hit the download button I'm going to have it um, it's going to ask me download right Co uh, code in the cloud uh, we don't want to do any cloud so some some, some work you can download it to your cloud base and use the so what do you do right say free distribution installation and I'll show you those distribution those are the different softwares I was talking about I will show you thousands of the most fundamental uh, DS AI machine learning packages so we're going to see that we are manage packages and environment from desktop application and I will show you how to create environments right and so you can be able to have different environment for different purposes and also deploy across hardware and software platforms so uh, Anaconda is very useful in that regard. So we're just going to download for Windows because my computer is Windows and then uh, we have other installers, right? We have for Mac. If I'm using a Mac, which is Apple, I'm going to use this. If I'm using, um, I don't know which um, computer is this, maybe it's Linux, I'm not sure. But then we have the Windows. So which I just the same thing here. I just hit the Window button and you can see up at uh, the top right, you can see my um, my software uh, Anaconda is downloading and then I'm just going to give it some time and let it download and then I'll pretend I'm just pretending like I, I don't have it right from 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 scratch and then I will show you how it works okay so why this is going on um, you can also go ahead and download what uh, the Visual Studio code so you just type the Visual uh, Studio code and you hit enter you see the visual studio code is the python interpreter and very good for like i mentioned for debugging and also for web and cloud applications this is very good so i'm going to hit i'm going to enter the visual studio code and you see download for window right you can also download for mac they have for other stuff so you see how the interface looks like the visual studio code is not only used to run python you can use it to run your javascript you can use the Visual Studio Code to also run your HTML, to run Java, to run C, C++, no other low-level other low, other low languages and also high-level language, you can run them. So it's not that it's only meant for a Python. So you can see all the packages here I was talking about, right? Um, and then we can also do a lot of stuff. We can debug and order. So I'm going to hit download, download for Windows. So when I download, it's going to ask me okay what's uh, like i say we well, have the mac i want the windows 10 my window is windows is windows 11 and uh, you can if you you try to make sure your window version is the window 10 right and then if it's not window 10 i think they have other um they have other specification there are places you can go and search for the uh, your window type but of course um the minimum window that can help to run modern software should be like windows 10 so you try to have Windows 10. So I'm going to try to hit download and then it's going to start downloading. So we have it already running here. So getting started. This is just information to kind of um, acquaint you with what you should have. So we have the Visual Studio Code downloaded and we have the Anaconda say done, right? This, the both of them are done. So I'm just going to go to my, my download and see what I have there. Um, so I'm going to hit the, my Fire Explorer and then I'm going to download and voila. So here, here they are. So I have the Anaconda and I have just the code. I'm not going to run this. Uh, if I run it, uh, it's going to override what I have earlier. If, if, again, what I have, they are still in the pristine stage. They are still pristine. They have not been used. So I'm going to use them that way. But then you can see the Visual Studio code is here. And you, all you need to do is to hit it. When you hit the install, when I hit the install, it's going to ask me if I want to install this um, this package uh, software, and then I'm yeah I'm going to either I'm going to either agree to install it or I'm not going to. Okay, so I don't want to install this. I already have it. If I keep going, it's going to install for me. But I don't want to have two copies, so I'm just going to um, 
exit and the same thing with the anaconda um, software i'm going to see if it's going to let me um, again i'm not going to install this uh, because i already have copies i already have this i don't want to have them several sitting on my computer so i'm just going to uh, just want to show you that once you double click it you're going to start installing it and that's just uh, the beauty of uh, of these softwares okay um uh, no i don't want to install i'm going to say can uh yes i don't want and uh, then we're just going to close this now and then when, assuming i'm done I'm going to see them here. If I don't have them, I'm going to search them out, right? I'm just going to my computer and I'm going to search for where they are located, right? I will search for Anaconda and I will see, I will right click here and I'll see open file location for each of them and then I will see where they are and then I'll copy them and paste on my desktop. I like having them on my desktop. So you see, it comes with its own spider, uh, Jupyter notebook and the rest. So, but we are going to see. Um, so now we have it. So let me try to open each of them. This is the Anaconda Navigator. So by the time I open the Anaconda Navigator, we are going to see what is inside there. Okay. Uh, it's going to take time. It's going to keep coming, trying to understand your environment and all that. And now I have it. So um, I have it and you can sign in so usually i like to sign in because uh, when you sign in you're going to have um let me see yeah so because i try to open it's telling me that i open already yeah i already have it so you can try to connect you can try to sign in um and i conduct cloud i like to sign in often time but right now i don't it's still fine um so it means if i have it i can have the same an account navigator in multiple system, right? So any update I make here, any software I download, I'm still going to have it in my other system, and that is cool. So the you have to inspect this Anaconda environment. If I go to environment, you see I have um, I have a basic environment. It's called base, right? And I have uh, these are the pre-installed softwares, right? That come with it. And these are actually you're going to have things like the NumPy for uh, numerical. Uh, analysis assessment right if you want to do some basic mathematics that's where the things like math functions or the inbuilt math function the numpy is going to help you to kind of do that okay so we have the installed we can also check for not installed here you can search for app and directly you can directly install your softwares uh, your packages from here right which is really cool um, one thing you can do is also to create environment, but we're not going to cover that, right? Maybe next time I will show you, which is going to be maybe the next video, I'll show you how to create environments and how to download uh, packages. So this video is just to show you how to uh, how to download the Python through Anaconda Navigator. So now we have Anaconda Navigator downloaded, right? Uh, if I had followed through the installation process, you, you're going to see the Python version, but I will show you how you can check the Python version that comes with this Anaconda uh, Navigator. Okay, so let's go ahead back to the home. So here we can see we have the follow com packages when I was installing it. It came with Data Spell, uh, Anaconda Notebook. It came with, um, um, you go, uh, command prompt for Anaconda. It came with the Jupyter Lab. So I love using Jupyter Lab. It's very cool. It came with um, the uh, Jupyter Notebook. Also very nice. And then we have the spider. Spider is also used, it's an online interpreter. And then we also have the Visual Studio Code. So Anaconda, if you don't want to get the Visual Studio Code through mainstream, you can get it as part of the Anaconda and then you can use them. It's very cool, right? But I like to use, get my own directly for, for that. So we have Oracle, we have the IBM Watson Studio Cloud, right? Um, and then we also have the uh, Glue Vs for visualization. We have the uh, we have other packages. We have Orange. We have PyCharm. PyCharm used to be um, what was invoked before the uh, Visual Studio Code uh, became popular and had more function than the PyCharm. Well, I think PyCharm does the same thing, right? It can be used for Python, so it supports HTML, JavaScript, and also SQL, right? 
and then we'll have the R Studio. So I can install my R from here, right? When I read, I can install the R. It will go to my computer. I don't need to. So Anaconda, all the programming softwares, Anaconda is just like a hub where you can get every one of them. So you don't need to go, you don't need to start downloading them individually. And this will give you the benefit of using Anaconda is that the versions are going to be compatible, right? If I'm if I'm if I'm alternating between my interpreter and my notebook, I know that okay, they are all going to be uh, compatible. For example, sometimes my Python version can complain that maybe the uh, the packages I'm using they are outdated, and then you know. But Anaconda helped me to make sure that everything are up to date and they are all sync. All right, so that's all for that is it for the Anaconda. The Visual Studio Code, uh, if I try to open it, uh, it comes open. So this, you see some, some guys writing code, they show you this part, it looks nice. Uh, this is really cool. So what I need to first, I need to add, a bring in, uh, I need to write a new code. I'll show you how to do that when we start looking into uh, mainstream uh, uh, scripting or, you know, when we start writing codes there. But basically this is how the interface is and then we can, can kind of uh, run can run and we can also debug we can do other stuff find the source and we can also change uh, our kind of uh, our, our python environment but let me close this because we're not using it now let me talk about an anaconda prompt before we go um the anaconda prompt is like i mentioned earlier so i will show you how we use this and how you can move from folder to folder this is the anaconda prompt so this is where you kind of move from folder to folder change environment install packages install those libraries and then you can work with um it's very powerful you can do a lot with the anaconda prompt and like i said this is uh, part of the dependency that came with the anaconda navigator so we can do that right we also have the PowerShell. PowerShell can do the same thing but it's more advanced more for industry kind of company stuff and um, um, they also have a little bit difference, but we're not going to go into all that because we're not going to use it, right? So, yeah, so that's how you install your Python. And um, uh, next time, I will show you how you can use an Anaconda prompt to kind of check your Python version, create environments, and then install some packages which we are going to be using, like the pandas to analyze table and also... Uh, and then uh, I will show you some other stuff there and how you can use an Anaconda prompt to kind of switch between environments and also use it to open the Jupyter Lab. So you don't need to go through the, um, you don't need to go through an Anaconda Navigator, right? To um, this, this is for those who are not code friendly. They can you can hit this directly, uh, and then it will directly open the uh, Jupyter notebook for you. For example, when I hit this now, it's going to try to load. And it's gonna to try to take me open um, the to launch for me and ask me whether I want to use Chrome to open it, and I can also use the Visual Studio Code to open it. So I'm just gonna say for just now, uh, open it for me. Um, yeah, because I don't give it any uh, any library or anything. Um, so the, the 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 drawback to this is that. Um, it's going to inherit your location, your drive location, or your, or your computer location. But with the Anaconda Navigator, we can move between folders easily, and then we can do our assessment our analysis there. So then we can create new kernel, we can do some analysis, but I don't want to do that. Right, it's discard. Um, it's created this folder, now I don't want this. Let me delete it. Uh, this, is, this is very cool. Um, yeah, so uh, I don't want to take drag you. I just want to show you how you can download it. Um, I, if let me know if you have any question. And again, I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.